Good afternoon. Thank you, Martin, and thank you, Arts and Business, for your invitation today. And uh, I'm not sure how I can possibly follow on after that fabulous performance. It was amazing. Thank you. Um, as Martin has said, uh, I'm from Ulster Carpets, and just a very brief history of the company. In 1938, at the age of 62, when most of us would be thinking of retiring, George Walter Wilson set up Ulster Carpets. The purpose of that was to bring employment to an area of very high unemployment, and that was in Portadown, and that's where we remain today. So today we have 580 employees. As Martin has said, we're family owned, professionally managed, and we design and manufacture luxury woven carpets. And these go all over the world, and also for you and I in our homes. Ulster Carpets remains committed to providing employment and supporting the communities across many platforms, from sport to the arts. And Dominic, I was very happy to hear you say that you see sport as part of the arts. As we know, the arts offers a very broad spectrum of opportunities for everyone. I'd like to focus on two areas here, and that is young people. They are our future, and their development is critical. Music is a fabulous tool for communication and learning. And today, I would like to talk to you about our project with the Ulster Orchestra and Sierra School in Lurgan. Sierra is an integrated, special school with children attending from across Northern Ireland, mostly from the Lurgan, Portadown, Craigavon area. And this is a project that I'm often asked about when I walk around the factory. It is close to the hearts of many people in Ulster Carpets. With the launch of Ulster Orchestra's new learning and community engagement programme at Stormont in February 2016, and with one of their objectives to take the orchestra out of Belfast, Lucy McCullough, who's here, and is the Director of Learning and Community Engagement with the orchestra, liaise with Sierra, Sierra School, and the Ulster Orchestra players, who are a fabulous team, to develop a tailored music programme for the Leavers class. The awarding of match funding from Arts and Business NI's investment programme for this project was a real game changer. I'm going to tell you about that. The additional investment from Arts and Business NI, together with investment from the Ulster Orchestra, provided the funding to widen the scope of this music proposal, delivering it at a much higher level with the involvement of a specialist trainer, Eve from Jesse's Fund. Eve is trained to help children with complex needs through the therapeutic use of music. And Dominic, I know you will concur with this, but the Jesse's Fund website explains, music can provide a powerful means by which children can express themselves and connect with the world around them. It's critical. The specialist trainer, who as well as leading the music workshops with the children and the Ulster Orchestra players, also with the players, took the school music workshops with the teachers and classroom assistants, giving them the confidence to carry forward this type of music activity-based learning with the children of the school, leaving a legacy at, with the school. From playing with drumsticks and other percussion instruments to conducting the players, the Leavers class were fully engaged in interactive workshops, enjoying the whole musical experience, which culminated in a fabulous showcase concert at the end of March this year. The class invited representatives from the Ulster Orchestra, Arts and Business NI, and Ulster Carpets to attend their showcase performance. I was very honoured to be one of those invited and it was absolutely fabulous and so emotional and I'm emotional even thinking about it. There was not a dry eye between any of us. And I'd like to show you some highlights of that concert so that you can get a feel for the project in which the students composed, composed the music and sang to the film 13 Stingrays. So it was starring the Sierra School Leavers class, 
the Ulster Orchestra players and it was led by Eve Harrison of Jesse's Fund. Sorry, I'm not very good at editing. <laughs> so this is a photograph of the Leavers class following the concert with the teachers and Eve Harrison, the sponsors, and the Ulster Orchestra players who um, just, they just gel so well with the pupils. It was fabulous. Um, this was a very successful <coughs> project and it was sponsored by Ulster Carpets, Arts and Business NI, the Ulster Orchestra and the Arts Council for Northern Ireland. So that is quite a collaboration and thank you. The, the benefit of this project to Sierra School, sorry, you're stuck with me a while longer. <laughs> the benefit of this project to Sierra School, its pupils and staff was huge. The school, the whole school, all the students were invited to the final performance. I can absolutely say whenever I walk around the factory, I wear hearing protection. I wish I had it with me. The noise was ear piercing in that assembly hall. And those of us that were there can concur with that. But as soon as the music started, it was silence. The children were completely absorbed and calmed instantly. The music provided unstressed learning for the students and a fun learning for the leavers class without them even knowing they were learning. Number skills, shapes, patterns, sequencing, and much more. I wish I learned like that at school. The classical music promoted their emotional well-being and calmness. And as an example, one of the children who'd been in the audience said to me later as I toured the school, that the music was lovely and that she just wanted to lie down. So that's how calm she was. The head teacher told me about one child who had never ever been to assembly because they weren't able to cope with noise. They had actually slipped into the concert as soon as the music started and they stayed for the whole performance. So that's what music can do. The final concert was an essential part of the project developing the pupils' confidence and independence. Most of the 143 children at Sierra School would not be exposed to classical music at home, more mainstream pop. The orchestral instruments were all new to the children and the experience seeing and listening to the or Ulster Orchestra players was something that most children would not have experience of and were captivated by. They were able to tell me what the instruments were whenever I arrived. So what's next? Orchestral music sits within Sierra School's holistic sensory teaching and we at Ulster Carpets are delighted that we're embarking on another music project with the Ulster Orchestra and Sierra School in 2017-18. I know that both the Ulster Orchestra players and Sierra School are looking forward to the workshops and that the orchestra's Lucy McCullough She's been working hard again and with Sierra to develop a music program for one of the upper primary classes. Now this is really raising the bar because this will be more challenging for the players 
as the children's concentration levels will not be as developed as those of the leavers class, but the benefit to both the children and the school will be immense. On behalf of Ulster Carpets, I would like to thank the staff and pupils of Sierra School for agreeing to host the music project. A huge thanks to the orchestra, the Ulster Orchestra, and its players for their amazing contribution and investment. Thank you to Arts and Business NI and the Arts Council for Northern Ireland, who made this project amazing with their investment programme funding and professional support. And what else? Following the immense success of our arts engagement with the Ulster Orchestra and Sierra School, we are very excited about another new project, another new music project. We are now also working with the Charles Wood Festival of Music and Summer, sorry, the Charles Wood Festival of Music and Summer School on a new venture for a girls' choir. Sorry, boys. We have agreed a three-year sponsorship for this. This is an exciting new project with girls from across Ireland coming together in Armagh for a week in August when they will receive the highest level of musical tuition. Sorry, Dominic. From David Hill, Chief Conductor of the BBC Singers and Musical Director of the Bach Choir. And I'm sure both Dominic and David appreciate each other very well. This year, the Charleswood Festival runs 20th to 27th of August, and please check it out, it will be fantastic. We are delighted that Arts and Business NI, through this investment programme, have awarded this project funding. This is really going to be another game changer. Thank you. And thank you to Arts and Business NI. You are a fabulous organisation with a highly skilled and professional team, bringing the arts and businesses together to make something great truly amazing. As one of our customers, as some of our customers visiting the factory, and they call it the mill, from the USA, Arts and Business NI, you are awesome. Thank you. Mm -hmm.